scared me. It's, I thought this was a bug. This leaf. It's not a bug. We're good. I will survive. Boy. He's not a boy. He's a man. I totally did not check what the author's name was, so <laughs> one second. Lucy Christopher. Do that. Perfect. By Lynn Weingrate. Garten. I can't ever get this author's name right. Ever. The Secret Sisterhood of Heartbreakers. Don't know who it's by because I didn't check and I'm also holding the book upside down. We tried. Obviously, Liz is... It's not Liz, it's Lucy. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with my June wrap-up. I read a total of eight books this month. Which is surprising because I thought I was only going to read like three. But without further ado, let us get started. The first book I completed this month is This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. This book is about a girl named Elise Dombowski and she feels that she has never fit in anywhere so she decides that she's going to spend her summer becoming the new and improved Elise. But when she returns to school the next year, she figures out that nobody really cares about her still, and she decides that the only way that she is going to get people to notice her is to commit suicide. Elise feels that she is never going to fit in no matter what she does until she discovers an underground nightclub called Start. I absolutely love this book. I gave it four out of five stars on Goodreads. I think that Elise was such an amazing character and she went through so many amazing character developments and I feel that her emotions were so real all the time and I think that she's completely relatable for a lot of teenagers. And also, I think that every single character in this book had their own unique personality which made the book so much more enjoyable. The second book I read this month is Love After Dust by James Ward. This book follows 22-year-old Ryan who believes that he is the last man on earth. The human race has been wiped out by this disease that they call dust and it basically sucks all the moisture out of your body until you are nothing but dust. Ryan has been visited by a girl who is 19 named Julia in his dreams for a couple of weeks now and he's beginning not to know the difference between dream world and reality and it's basically the story of him trying to decipher the two. I didn't exactly enjoy this book. I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I feel like the whole concept of the book was very good but I found it to be very repetitive and I feel like it could have been a lot better but overall it just it wasn't my thing. The third book I read is Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin. This book follows 15-year-old Liz, who has her entire life ahead of her. Graduation, prom, all of that jazz that comes with growing up until she gets hit by a taxi cab and passes away. When she wakes up, she finds herself in a land called Elsewhere, which is where people go when they've died. Each day on Elsewhere, the time reverses, so as soon as you get there, you are getting younger and younger and younger until you are a baby again and get sent back to Earth, down a river, in order to be resurrected into the world of the living again. Obviously Liz is a little bitter when she gets there and basically makes everybody's life terrible until the story progresses and Liz starts to accept everything that's going on in her life and she's actually starting to enjoy it and is basically just following Liz through that journey. I did enjoy the book. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads but it took a very long time to get interesting. I think it wasn't until the last 100 pages or so that I actually got into the story. The fourth book I read this month is Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. And I love this book. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I thought the illustrations were amazing and just the story really worked well with the illustrations. Which is the whole point of the book, but you know, I thought it worked well. Because some of these books like this, it's like, why? Why did you do that? It doesn't make sense. But this was really well done. I thought Moon was an amazing character. I think she was very honest with her feelings towards Ed, who, can we all agree, was a total asshole jerk face. I hated him so much, and I mean, I feel like they were never really meant to be together. And after you find out the real reason why they broke up, it's just like, I hate him so much. <sighs> I just can't. The entire book. I was just hoping that Al and Min would get together. I think they would be so cute together. Daniel Handler, please write a sequel where they are together. Please. Please. The fifth book I read this month is Stolen by Lucy Christopher. It follows 16-year-old Gemma who is about to get on a flight to Vietnam with her parents. Unfortunately, she gets in a fight so she decides that she's going to go off and buy a coffee to calm down. And as she's buying the coffee, she discovers that she does not have the correct currency. So a man named Ty decides 
that he's going to buy her coffee for her. Unfortunately for Gemma, she never makes it back to her parents because Ty takes her on a little adventure to Australia in the middle of nowhere. As Gemma spends more and more time with Ty, she finds out that he isn't as bad as she originally thought he was and she might even be starting to fall for him. I think this book was really interesting. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It was all in the form of a letter that Gemma wrote to Ty after all of this goes down. And I just, I thought of that it was really interesting to get in the head of this character because it ends up her having Stockholm Syndrome. I know that it's kind of creepy, but I totally wish that Ty and Gemma were together. I think they're kind of cute together. Is that weird? I feel like that's weird. Whatever. I ship it. I ship it hard. The sixth book I read this month is The Impossibility of Tomorrow by Avery Williams. It is the sequel to The Alchemy of Forever, which is this book here. Totally have it prepared. That's right. And it is the Incarnation series. I'm not 100% sure if there is another book. I'm really hoping there is so because I love this book. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads and I don't want to give a summary because it will give pretty much the whole plot away so not gonna do that but I love the series. If you haven't read it definitely check it out because it's super super good. The seventh book that I read this month is The Secret Sisterhood of Heartbreakers by Lynn Weingarten. Got it right that time. Perfect. On her first day of her sophomore year of high school, Lucy is waiting for her boyfriend Alex to come back from summer vacation and she's so excited and has a great surprise planned out for him because she hasn't seen him all summer and it turns out that Alex kind of has his own surprise for her. He's breaking up with her. Obviously Lucy is heartbroken until she meets a group of gorgeous girls who are named Olivia, Jill, and Liza. Or Liza, not 100% sure how to say her name, but whatever, minor details, you know? It's cool. It turns out that they are part of a secret group of girls called the Secret Sisterhood of Heartbreakers who have the magic in order to mend Lucy's broken heart. The only catch is that Lucy has seven days to break someone else's heart in order to mend her own. I think this book was really easy to read and it was super cute. I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads. I absolutely hated Lucy. She drove me insane. It was so obvious that Alex didn't care one tiny bit about her and she, she, she just kept going at him and she's like, love me, I need your love. And he was like, no, back up. And she was like, no, I need the love. And it just drove me insane. And I also hated her because she treated her like best friend, Tristan, like absolutely, like absolute, absolute poop. And it just, I, I love Tristan. He was so cute and she was just so mean to him and it just drove me insane. Don't like Lucy. Don't like her. And the eighth and final book I read this month was The Hand of the Devil by Dean Vincent Carter. This book follows Ashley Reeves, who is a journalist and he works for a freak of nature magazine called Missing Link. Ashley receives a letter from a man named Reginald Mather who says that he owns a giant species of mosquito that is the only one of its kind still around and he wants Ashley to come write a article about this giant mosquito. When he arrives on this island it is completely remote and he ends up getting stranded there and he discovers that everything on the island isn't exactly how it seems and I it was, it was creepy. It was a creepy book. Super creepy. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I liked it, but it took me an entire two weeks to read. I found it kind of slow, and then it would get really good, and then it would get slow again, and then it would get really good. So, I don't know, it was a fee for me, but I didn't like the mosquito. I didn't like it at all. I hate mosquitoes in general. So a giant one? Mm -mm, not for me. Not for me. Alright guys, so that was the eight books that I read this month. If you guys want an in-depth review of any of them, leave it down below and I'll be happy to make that for you. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! We resurrected. What is that? Yeah, resurrected. In the, uh, er, er, what's it called? One second, years old, and, um, nope. I don't know how old she is. It's actually not in the book. <laughs> Hello! I'm talking. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Thanks for ruining the shot. I knew you are coming back. Oh, doorbell. Perfect. Love life. It's this giant mosquito who is giant. Yeah, super scary. If I had a giant mosquito anywhere near me, I would squish it. <laughs> That's besides the point. Whatever. Receives this letter from a man named General. General. No, Reginald. It's Reginald.